What's up, YouTube? So I had the girls laughing at shop right over that that last comment. Uh, my question was, uh, shop right off for senior citizen discounts. Not that I'm a senior citizen, um, but anyway, it's it's uh, box opening time. So I decided I was going to add a second heat exchanger to the Monte Carlo. So let's see. Maybe it's going to be like this. No, sorry guys. Son of boop. How about that? Alright, so uh, let me take you through some fittings I have. So I got some, some, uh, received, I didn't got, I received some push lock 12s. Push lock 12s. So hopefully I'll be able to get most of the plumbing done. I know I'm still waiting for a few more few more fittings. Let's open this up. This was a deal from eBay. This was 130 bucks. I was like, whoa, that's a deal. What do you get? What do you get for 130 bucks from eBay for a heat exchanger? Let's let's open it up. Whoa, you ready? So we came for 130 bucks. You get two fans and a, and a heat exchanger. So let's see what the heat exchanger looks like. So what I planned on doing with this heat exchanger is putting this either in the front of the car lower because the vehicle has AC. And then what I did is the AC condensers in front of the heat exchanger because uh, I actually want cold air in the summertime. And then the radiators behind that with some big fans. Um, but then I was like, all right, well, maybe I'll put this in the front, uh, below, lower, lower than I'll show you when I get there, lower, lower at the condenser. So lower meaning down towards the ground. I'm not sure exactly what, what and where is either going to be in the back of the car, moving some weight to the back of the car. I probably would like to do, um, but the fans will be needed to cool this, cool that air to water charge down. So I'll have two heat exchangers, and dude, this is nice. GPI Racing. What is this? this is another heat exchanger for the Monte Carlo, but two fans uh, and another heat exchanger for 130 bucks from eBay is a slam dunk deal. This is a polished air to water. <clears throat> so it looks pretty, pretty nice. Let's see if we can see how many rows it is. Let's see if they can get the cap off. So it looks like... I can barely see inside there. Two row, <clears throat> so it's a two row core, which is good. Uh, nice radiator cap, everything looks tigged. Tig nice with mounting flanges, and I think this will be perfect if I mount this down in front, make it look like an inner cooler. Uh, and I think I have a nice spot for that. I think I will do that. And then I could put the fans, uh, in front of it, which is super Gucci. Um, cause I plan on driving this on the street. Not that I'm going to be racing it, but you know, I want it to, to have super cold air intake temperatures with that T6 turbo. We're running E85 too. So it should all help, you know, the colder everything is the better off it is. But let me figure out, excuse me, what the plumbing, plumbing aspects of this is going to be. I'll bring you guys back maybe tomorrow when I get a chance to uh, mock it up. Thanks for watching.